hi you guys and welcome to this video today I will be doing a get unready with me so instead of me showing you guys how I get ready and how I do my makeup or hair I'm actually going to be getting ready for bed and showing you how I take off all of my makeup and get ready to go to sleep so first things first obviously get the hair out of the way so that we can do all the things we need to do to the face and then the next thing I'm doing is just filling up my contact lens case with solution. I do usually wear my contact lenses and right now I'm just taking them out and putting them in the solution. I do have glasses but I don't normally wear them because when I wear them they leave a mark on my nose where they've removed my makeup so I don't really like that too much. So I usually just put my glasses on when I come home from a long day and I take out my contacts. It's a rare day when I wait until actual bedtime to take out my contacts. Then the next thing I'm going to do is start taking off my makeup and I'm going to be doing that with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is pretty new. I just got it um, on Memorial Day as part of my Memorial Day um, haul that I did. And so I just took a good amount of product and spread it onto both of my hands and now I'm just covering my face in it. It's really great at getting off lipstick. Um, and one of my favorite things is that it's really good at getting off my eyebrows because I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, and sometimes that can be really hard to get off, and so sometimes I felt like I'd been tugging at my eyebrows and pulling out hairs, but I have that no problem with that when I'm using this product. And so now that I've thoroughly coated my face, I'm now going to be cleansing it off, and I just got my hands wet with warm water and going over my face, making sure to get all of the balm off as well as all of the makeup and just really getting into every nook and cranny and making sure that nothing gets left behind. And so now um, I will be actually removing my eye makeup because I don't use the balm to do that because I always get it in my eye and so to try and avoid that I just use the micellar water which I put on a cotton round and so I'm just dabbing it lightly on my eye, trying not to pull too hard on that eye skin because that definitely is a delicate area of your face. And the more you tug on it, the more wrinkles you're supposed to get or whatever it is. So I've been trying to be more gentle with my eyes now that I'm a little bit older. But I'm really trying to get underneath my eyes because right up close to my waterline I have a lot of foundation and concealer that can sometimes get left behind. And then I'm taking a new cotton pad with the same micellar water and this time I'm running it all over my face just to make sure there isn't any leftover residue or any little bits and pieces and just to kind of add some more um, moisture and hydration back into my skin. Now this is something I don't do often but I love to do it and that is using my Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. This one is in the flavor Mojito and it was actually so sweet. My boyfriend surprised me with this um, during the middle of my senior year finals. It just arrived at my door and it was so cute. But um, just take this all over the lips and I really feel like my lips are so soft after I use this. And my favorite part really is that it's edible because it's 100% vegan. It's made of sugar so you can just eat it right off your mouth. And now I'll be using a moisturizer. This is the Clinique Hydra Gel. And it's a gel moisturizer, so it's water-based, so I don't feel like it makes me oily, which I'm more prone to oily skin, so that's why I really like this moisturizer. But I do only use it once a day, and that is usually at night before bed. Now it's time to take my Clinique Pep Start. This is my eye cream, and so I'm just dabbing it on my eyes underneath and a little bit on the top and just lightly rubbing that in again trying not to pull on the skin too hard and more just trying to push it into the skin to moisturize and hydrate those very delicate skin areas and now the moment everyone in their lives should do and that is brushing my teeth um, I'm so obsessed with making sure I brush my teeth for long enough, so I always set a timer for two minutes when I'm brushing my teeth. I'm obviously not going to show you that, but I always brush my teeth for two minutes, morning and night. And then this is something I do not do nearly enough, but that is wearing my retainer. And this one is actually glow-in-the-dark, which is super random, but the orthodontist was like, yeah, that's cool, let's go for it. <laughs> And so now we're going to whip out my Aquaphor, which I'm obsessed with. I literally cannot go to bed without putting Aquaphor on my lips. It's been like that for years, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos from me. I hope that I'll see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye.